Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at pure synth and uh, to be quite honest, remarkably cool, upright. So if we have a look, if we open this in full screen and we go to our thing here, let's just expand this a little bit. Down the bottom here you will see it says pure synth upright. I think it's about 399. And there's also a suitcase expansion, which we'll do as well. But these are the two that I didn't have. Now, they've probably been around for a while, but Jamal sent me to sent them to me the, the other day. So they're but the, pure synth upright. So these are the patches that you get in the, in the actual pack. They are very, 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 very good. And they really do sound like an upright, which is what you would expect. Okay, so we can close this. And I'm going to... Uh, you've got headphones on you or almost all, straight away you get like a, a an upright vibe you know because they sound different upright and grandstand sounds slightly different so i'll close the microphone and play play a little bit and i'll explain a little bit about the um this nano control as well let's say but this isn't a demo for the nano control i'll just explain why it's there in a sec anyway uh let me just um mute the microphone and have a crack on So no, no other effects other than the inset. Ignore this one. I was just messing around with it earlier. Uh, no other effects other than the channel strip has been switched on. Just to boost the volume a little bit. And you can, of course, boost the volume as much as you like inside Pure Piano. Uh, pure synth in general if you go to the uh, mfx there's usually a limiter in there and you can just knock up the makeup but uh, i don't want to do that for every single track so i've just opened up the channel strip now the nano control studio 2 this thing here which i got the other day for cubasis in, uh, in, in specifically for cubasis because now with cubasis 3 um if we go to our where are we? Let's oh, leave MIDI. Here you'll see Mackie Control and HOI Human User Interface Protocols. This now does this, and this also supports the Mackie HOI MCU, etc. protocol, which means that, <coughs> excuse me, you don't have to MIDI map anything. It's all automatically mapped, which saves tons and tons of time. Of course, this will work with all your other doors as well, but using it with Cubasis now is really, really very cool because if you go into your mixer, you see, you'll see that channel one here, which is this, is, and it's, you can switch off and arm the record and channel two, which is this, and so on and so forth. 
even if you add a hundred channels you just keep skipping this little button here which is next and it goes from like then 9 to 16 then 17 to 32 <coughs> not 17 32 but in the next eight tracks but so we need to go back to arming and the transport works as well like this and then you can arm the metronome unarm the metronome stop it set the actual looping points rewind fast forward to the end of the loop record solo uh and mute so it but you don't uh, oh and also the i don't know if you can see the uh the panning as well <clears throat> So it's really cool. You don't have to do any of the mapping yourself. Anyway, so yeah, so that's that uh, thing. So I'll be doing like, and it's so easy, it just automatically does it. You just hold, well, on this particular controller, you hold set and rewind, plug it in, and it's in Mackie mode. If you want to add a Mackie mode, you hold set and cycle. It just goes back to normal mode where you can map anything you like. Hi, Russ, how are you? So yeah, awesome stuff. So let's carry on with this because this is lovely. Ooh, Dark Jazz Club.
absolutely beautiful. I'm, I ain't kidding. It's just, it, it's, it's so, it really so uprighty. Shazam and everyone else as well Stephen, Ivan Lou Joe, Jade um, Colin and everybody else, Russ Tom
Now here's the thing. Now my latency is completely screwed up. See it is? And this happens all the time. It's it's a kind of a an iOS 14.5.1 bug. So the only way to fix this now is to go into setup, go into audio, and where it says device latency, I, I, I have this turned off the audio because it's that's a bit better without it without it off. I have to reset the device latency to whatever I want it, and it's uh, all back to normal. Trouble is, if you do this whilst it's recording, you, you've had it, you know. Anyway. It probably happen again before we finish. It is mind-bogglingly annoying. So where are we in the list? Let's see. Let's open this up again. So we're about we're about halfway through. So this is called Greek Hall. This one. No, it's not annoying at all. <laughs> you're right, you're right, kid. Yeah, if if you haven't updated, I keep updating to the latest version. You know, in the insane hope that all the audio problems will be fixed. <laughs> Is that a problem with all iOS apps or just pure space jacks? Nothing to do with pure synth. Nothing to do with the synth. It will happen with whatever app, whatever app you have open um, in Cubasis. I, to be honest, I haven't experienced it in AUM, but I have experienced other issues like audio crackling and stuff like that. I would say it's not Cubasis really. I also, it's not uh, any app. It's uh, the latest iOS update. Yeah, it's done it again, see? So at this point, I'm going to abandon this in here because I, it, it's annoying. And I'm going to open it back up inside AUM. Uh, let's go pure synth. Uh, pure synth, there we go. And let's go to our... And let's see if it happens for the rest of the video inside here. Boink. Let's go to Pure Synth Upright Factory Presets. I think we were on Greek Hall, is right. I need to go and um, let me just do this and this and this and that. And let's hook this up to our controller, which is the MIDI. There you go. I will put some gain on here from um from AUM and we're good to go It's the built-in reverb for pure. Yes, no, this is just 100% pure. No other effects. Pure has in, in, incredible, incredible amount of effects and really, really high quality effects. You have like IFX here. Uh, and at the moment, there's a wide and honest particular sound. But if we, if we go into effects, you've got delays. Uh, chorusing, phasing, reverbs, distortions, e stereo, equalizers, amps, tuning, dynamics, miscellaneous. But this is just the IFX, that, like the inserts. It's got its own and cool bunch of completely different like chorusing effects and then different types of reverbs. And then if you go into the mastering section, you can see the eqs and the dynamics as well so it really does have a lot of a lot of effects built in so you don't even need to 
Use anything else if you don't want to. It's not, seems like a CB3 issue to me. Could be Colin, could well be. Doesn't happen in AUM. Doesn't happen in Nano. Not really any need for black hole on this now. Some stuff. It's the next one. Loud mechanics. This is part of the. This is. Yeah, it is. So I'll turn the microphone off for this and you can hear the loud mechanics. Loud mechanics. So any clicking you're hearing now is nothing. None of this exterior stuff. The mic is switched off. You're hearing the sounds that are actually built into uh, uh, the upright. Rustique, how are you? Hey Thomas, how are you? Oh, thanks, Ivan. Top man. <laughs> thanks. No, we'll just stick with the insane. <clears throat> Thank you. 
So this this patch is just, this patch is called practicing in my basement. These are really great. The the full of that, you know that you get that like seventies vibe as well. You know the old studio you'd find in the corner, the old knackered piano you'd find in the corner of the studio.
Yeah, you could, you could, you could, you could play, you could play some Billy Joel. Um, <laughs> it's risky though. <laughs> Hi, Bubba. Yeah, that's right, Colin. <laughs> it's right. <coughs> it was from uh, Lily's Gone Mad.
super reverbs, super brilliant sampling. Awesome. There you go. All the patches. All the patches. The next one we'll have a look at, um, <clears throat> another video, is the uh, the suitcase expansion, which is very nice. If you want pianos of any description, pure synth got you pretty much nailed, covered for everything. What's this stereo sword? This might be nice. Hang on. Awesome stuff, guys. I will let you say we'll look at this uh, in a, a, another live stream. But there are so many amazing. I mean, if you go into FM Times, I've started to re download these as, as, again, so some of them still need to be downloaded. But um, I've just I, I think I think the thing when it's all fully installed sits at about 27 gig. Well, thanks to I've I can put 27 gig on here, no problem. So I will be looking at tons more stuff inside Pure because I, it's just got everything. The the electric grands are amazing. 
<coughs> amazingly good. This is one of the uh, the CP samples. Apart from all the other cool stuff that Pure does as well, like all the choirs and the jazz vocals and everything. Guys, bless you all. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. Uh, Ivan, thanks so much for the super chat, mate. You you know it's uh, much appreciated. Thanks, uh, everybody. Bubba, Russ, Tom, uh, Joe, uh, Jade, um, uh, Colin, and Thomas, um, Brad. And everybody else, uh, Stephen, Wal, I don't know if Wal's still here, uh, but everybody, uh, and Jade is on in 15 minutes, I think, um, so yeah, brilliant, top job, could be, Rustique, Rustique, thanks mate as well for turning up, awesome stuff, you guys are the best, and I will see you tomorrow. Where, I, I, where I'll be playing my trumpet. No, I'm kidding. Right, I'll see you tomorrow where we'll be doing some other cool stuff. Maybe do something Cubasis, but I mean, Cubasis is, I, it's with the, the thing is a bit weird. So anyway, don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's related to 14.5.1. No, pretty sure that ball. Anyway, right. Okie dokie. See you guys later. Ta-da.